guys, today I'll be showing you how to make a Minecraft bucket server 1.1. And right now, you can see I made one already. Here's my server. I just updated mine from it, but you gotta go download some programs for it. But you have to download Craft Bucket, which I'll have the link in the description, but click the link right there. You just click Craft Bucket Recommend Build. Well, I'm actually download it. You can see right there. Then after you download it, you gotta put it onto your desktop. Downloads. Then do right click, new text document. Open up the text document and then go back to the website and the link. That's where you download it from, right here. You gotta copy, control C, control V paste, file, save as, do, I don't know, server.bat, all files, save. You see it's right here. Just delete this, do file, new, or right click, do new folder server drag these two files in here open up I don't know it may, may lag or something because I already have a server running right now but then you just double click that and it should load it will probably take a while because I'm running my other Minecraft server right now and it's oh, it's probably not going to work because yeah I I'm running my server on my port already, so let load completely. Allow access, yeah. You need Java too. I'll give you the link in the description for it. Java 7. Make sure you have that, or it's probably not going to work. Things going so slow right now because I'm running two servers. But yeah, just let load all, all the way up. Then, it's almost done, but you want to type stop right there in the command file. So once it's done, it says it's done, push stop, enter, so it doesn't crash it whenever you, oh, it won't mess it up and stuff, destroy your server. <laughs> Saving chunks. Oh, yeah, you just want to save. I'm like pressing key to continue, but there's an X out of it since I already have a server, but... Once you're done, you gotta go to the click the server file. And just edit your stuff. You gotta put your port in that you're running on and the level name. I I changed mine to server map file save because that's because that's my old map I have from my old server. So then you just go and delete these three files if you're updating yours. This is if you're updating yours, and then you just copy your three files that you have back on here, and then we'll put that, put that there, and then you go to plugins, copy all, copy all your plugins over, and same with band band players and OPs and whitelists, whatever you have, you just want to copy that over if you're updating it. If you if you're not updating, then you're already done. Then you can just drag your plugins into the plugins file, but also to allocate more RAM memory, or to edit the server file. And you want to change what's on the end of here. Right now, there's there's nothing on there, I think. But you you know, right there it says one gig. So you want to make it like two gigs, make it two gigabytes. It uses, but I believe so. I mean, used to say whatever, but mine's at two gigs for my other server. <laughs> but I mean, I'll, I'll take make a Minecraft server. It's really quick and. I may make a video on how to put forward routers on Linksys too, if you request. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.